How's it going? Uh, after tinkering around with um, with trying to directly, uh, I guess you can call it copy, because basically it's copying, uh, copying uh, Evil Mad Science's um, interactive uh, LED table uh, using what I think was pretty much the same circuit they were using, uh, I found that it's just too friggin' hard to control um, control how sensitive the uh, the infrared uh, photodiode is. Uh, basically, if you want to put it under glass or under frosted glass, it's just a nightmare because of how much is reflected back. You 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 really can't calibrate it um, as easily as doable, but you can't calibrate it as easily as I would like. So I went ahead, took a plunge, and and uh, picked up a little Arduino. I I don't like the idea of Arduino for the most part because I see a lot of circuits uh, here on YouTube actually where people use like this board usually costs about thirty bucks. I got this uh, some bootleg Arduino. You see it doesn't say made in Italy. Uh, I got it off eBay for like twenty bucks or whatever. But people will use a thirty dollar plus board. Uh, to make a chaser light, which can be done with less than five dollars worth of ICs and parts, so I, I just don't like it because I think it's an it's, it's an easy way out instead of actually learning something. That said, and you know me enjoying the uh, the irony um, and the hypocrisy in it. Here I am. This is my Arduino. So um, it's some really dirty code. I mean, this is horrible. This is embarrassing. This is, I mean, but I've, I've literally looked at this program for about 15 or 20 minutes, and um, that, that's it. Like, I haven't bothered really learning the language that much. But um, pretty much got something working. All my photo diodes are, uh, are bad. Uh, I still had, like, three in the box, and I'd cut the leads off the other ones. And uh, once I cut the leads off, I don't keep it. I, I don't. For breadboarding, I, I don't like that, so um, I'm pretty wasteful. But uh, then the last three were just bad. They don't they don't work. So screw me, I guess. So I'm using the old standby, which is uh, a little wire to trip it. So let's just say that to uh, through your mind's eye, your imagination, pretend I'm waving my hand over it. But uh, it'll trip. And as long as your hand or an object is over top of it. You can see the LEDs. I'm sorry, they're a little bright. You can see the LEDs will stay lit. Once your hand is moved, the object's moved, then it goes into its its, uh, its pulsing. The reason the code looks so nasty is because originally, when it was pulsing, if you, again, use your imagination, put your hand over top of it, it would keep pulsing. It wouldn't uh, interrupt itself. So I had to put a bunch of these little interrupts in to uh, to tell it to keep checking. To see if, uh, see, I push down on it to see if the, the input is is above the level that I've set it at. So it's pulsing. Move your hand over top of it. It goes back. Pulsing. Get down to the lowest level here and goes back. So that works more or less like I want. Like I said, this code is absolute gibberish. I'm not even sure you're going to be able to make this out, but uh, this is actually kind of embarrassing, very embarrassing. But, um, like I said, it's only been about 15 or 20 minutes I've been working with it. Uh, oddly enough, again, because, you know, I enjoy hypocrisy, it's it's really fun to work with. Um, being able to mess with microcontrollers, it's, 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 it's pretty fun. Um, I still like the look and, and the, I guess you can call it the art of, of using straight you know, I don't know how you want. I don't know how you want to put it. I'd rather look at a board full of chips and one board with one chip. I guess I don't know. It's just something about that looks looks nicer to me. But for what it is, this will work. The only problem I have is um, the only Arduino I could afford was this, which is the Uno, and it has uh, six uh, analog outputs, and I need the analog outputs for the for the fade, that. So there's only six analog outputs, which means the most I can control 
um, until I'll, maybe I, maybe I'll find something that I can use. Um, like I said, I haven't learned the language yet, uh, but I can only control three uh, panels. Like if, if, if instead of usually, I, I'd imagine it in blocks of four, or you can call them pixels, or whatever. I imagine in blocks of four, but blocks of three. Uh, will be all right, I guess. It'll just it'll have to be, you know, L shaped, so one L interlinks with the other, interlinks with the other one, and goes down and then repeats again up top. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm fairly new to Arduino, so I'm going to figure out how complicated it is to get the uh, the mega, the 18 mega, off this board and uh, get it on its own board without having to buy. You know, an Arduino to control each one. I think that's just ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna keep tinkering. That's all I've got for now. Sorry for the crappy quality. I'm on my um, my BlackBerry, and the camera on here is just pathetic. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'll keep tinkering. Hopefully, get something up and going and uh, figure out how to get it off of the Arduino board, get on its own board, and um, go from there. I'm willing to bet it's not that hard. I just literally haven't read about it. I'm willing to bet it's just removing the IC, adding some capacitors and a clock, and um, calling it done, I'd imagine. We'll see. Anyway, y'all take it easy. Later.